I'm going to discard this bolt. I'm going to go to another carburetor. I am, however, going to put it on there for now. I didn't have another bolt. I thought I had another bolt. I am going to go ahead and put it on there for now. You don't, you know, you don't realize these things until uh, until final inspection. It didn't look too bad initially, but after you know, after further inspection, realizing that, uh, that my name's going to go on this, not worth it. Not worth uh, not worth taking any shortcuts. We're just going to. I'm not seating this. I'm just putting all these parts into position, and I'll know. Uh, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to know that this one. Uh, we need to put a new bowl on. It's not worth not worth twenty bucks. You spend two or three hours messing with it. And then the thing is, if it's prone to leak when you first assemble it, it's gonna be extra prone to leak down the line once it's been in place for a long time. So we're looking for lasting quality. This is what we're gonna do. Spin these backwards for you for a minute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install our intermediate jet. Just barely snug. Now, we have our uh, Mixing chamber plate, cover plate. Clean this guy off a little bit. Put water on it still. Shoot it down with our uh, carbon choke cleaner. This is our, uh, our gasket for our mixing chamber. Lay that in the position. Lay this in the position. Our screws into place. Now, each one of them, I'm going to backwards, and it'll pop in, pop into place. There we go. I'm not going to tighten any of them until I get ready for the final torque. No. And get them all in place. Now, once they're all in place, I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to tighten that one just barely. All you want to do is just barely snug. If you see this gasket start to protrude out of here, start to look deformed at all, protruding out of there, you know that you're tightening these too much. And it is forgiving initially. If you over tighten it, you'll see it protrude. You can, you can loosen it a little bit and you'll see it go back to its normal shape. That's fine on the initial installation. However, if you over tighten it, initially and leave it that way then the gas is going to get deformed over an amount of time it's going to have a memory in it and it's going to stay that way okay i did this one this one i'm going to go to that one and then i'm going to do these two always start in the center and work your way out That's complete. We got one leftover part. That's our hinge pin from uh, from the old assembly. We know that uh, well, a hinge pin came with it, so I'll take this hinge pin. I'll stick it over there. That'll uh, my little drawer of uh, miscellaneous uh, crap. Now, now we got our spaghetti seal. Last thing I'm going to do here. There's holes here. There's here and uh, here. Also a hole down here. You don't want to fill the holes with grease. You want to use a very small amount of grease. So this is the triple guard. This is the thick stuff. It's a, I'm going to use this grease a lot and build motors and a lot of the things that we do here. We we'll use this grease a lot. But put a put a thin coat of this grease on the back of here. This is important that you do this and, and allow this to to, to um, 
oh, this is sitting for a little while. If you do them all at one time and then try to assemble them onto the motor, they don't develop a memory. What you want on these gaskets is you do want them to develop a memory. You want them to remember that they go down in this little notch, in this, in this little uh, slotted area. So, take our gasket, the spaghetti seal, put it down into our slot here. Very gently work it into place, smoothing the grease in with it. The grease will hold it into place. Work from the corners out. Don't work over to a corner. Just push, push your, you know, there's spots in there. Work away from there. Go there and work that way. Start here and work that way. Work from your corners and your uh, little ring areas out. That'll help you get it in there. Now, as this thing sits for a little while, it will get used to being in that hole, and that's where it's going to stay for the rest of its life. And that's carburetor number five. I know that I'm going to go ahead and replace the bowl on that. Although it did look good initially, I still wasn't really happy with with, uh, with what it looked like at the end. It, it probably would have held. It would have helped fuel. Probably wouldn't have had any problems uh, in the beginning. But on down the line, as as it got a little bit older, I probably would have had problems with it. And that's what we want to try to avoid. We want we want a lasting quality product. And um, it's about that. This little seal is going to go in the throttle body. I'm going to. I'm going to explain that on another one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put the rest of this stuff together and I'll get back with you guys in a few on the throttle bodies or you can just go ahead and click the next video where it says throttle bodies. It'll be a very short one. They're very simple and um, we'll go from there.